Hi folks, this is Will at LR Workshop and this is a video about me dismantling a door, a second row door on the Puma. I've got two of them and uh, I, this video was filmed about 18 months ago and the audio is a bit crap, the video is a bit crap, it's a bit dark in places but I still thought there'd be some value and put it on YouTube um, for people to see it. This is the second row door from a Puma Defender. You can tell that from the curve on the inside of the door there. These were fitted from about 2005, but I refer to them in the uh, video as Puma doors, which is what they're best known as. And these are pressed steel instead of aluminium and steel frames, so you're not going to get the galvanic corrosion, so they're a bit of an upgrade. Um, they could rust, but you can prevent that with uh, wax on and stuff. But essentially this door is from one of the Dorna Sierra Leone construction company um, vehicles that was auctioned in about 2015. There were tons of them, they all came back from Sierra Leone. Now this is one of the doors from those vehicles, so it's about nine years old, it's had a hard life as you can see in the doors, there's just grub and grime everywhere. So I'm going to strip the door down and give it a bit of a recondition, see what we can replace, see what we can clean and just try and bring it back to uh, a better standard. So, start with the door card. It's pretty easy with the screwdrivers and the image, just going to pop these out. And, uh, oh, so normally you would lift this up and there's a screw in there, but this screw is just missing. And uh, so lift that up and pull that out. And here, easier way is to pop from the back. The door handle is held on clip like this and here what you really want is something to hook around the back hook there and pull it out but if in doubt you can come in from this side and push up there push these bits out it's not so easy and now when it's popped out you can just sort of lever it like that, this comes off the escutcheon. And the door trim has got little poppers around the outside, and these are very easy to break. If I take the door card that came off the other door, they have these clips that are already put on. Now that you can get replacement ones that are will fit onto these sections here. You see these have popped off. These are fitted like this in the factory, so these don't actually come off, and if they do, it means they're broken, but they can pull this whole section out of the door card as well. So you want to do each one, one at a time. So you've got three down this edge you can get to, then one, two, three, four, five, up the other edge. These ones are a bit trickier to do because they're along here under the, under the window there. But you can use a trim tool like this, or you can use a uh, fork with some one of the prongs snapped off. Um, I wrap it in insulation tape just to protect it from scratching the paint a bit. But these work very well. You slot them in just under here and then put, put even pressure on either side so you're going to pull this out of um, the rubber um, part of the, the rubber fitting that it fits into and you're going to put even pressure. If you just try and pull it, it could just snap off and then you will never get it back on. Um, the last thing to get off if we can go for the door card is this. And you see this one's been these are on quite tight and this one's been done before which is why this bit's broken so I'm gonna have to replace that so I'm not gonna worry about damaging this. But to some extent you've got to get a screwdriver under and bash it up so that that's broken now. Um, before there we go and it's popped off this latches 
it's got this kind of clip in here that's got to slide down. This is one of the last things you put on. So for the door trim, I'll go around with the tool. So that one's already actually come off. That one's already broken and detached. That's the next one. I think a few of these are broken actually. So that's all these come off. Um, a lot of them are actually broken. Now to get the ones along the top of the window, there's four along here. Um, this won't get in because it's got to go up and around and they're here so it won't go up around the corner. So you've just got to do these gently one at a time. Feel your way along. And that one actually popped a bit quicker more an art than a science and there we go what have we got on here so that one's clean ripped off and there you can see the, the idea and it comes out like that and let's see how they're bolted in stuck in maybe I'll replace that one actually these have all come out properly that one's missing one but it's not even still in there so it's been off before that one goes in there and they're in here that one's broken that's come off there that one's okay can be fit 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 so most of them are okay the other's all kind of none of them broke actually um, On. Maybe I'll glue this back on. So there. And now we can see the lovely West African mud. I love this stuff. Lots of good memories. Come back. And then the inside of the door, we've got this uh, sound deadening section. It's stuck down, or would be stuck down, with sealer around here. But this has been off before, someone's pulled this and it's ripped up. So we just need to go around and prise the edges up. Try not to destroy this as much as we can. Most of this has come away. And then down this edge. Try and preserve this, but I may end up just buying another one. No bit. No bit tatty. Lift some mud and all. Okay, God, this mud gets everywhere. It really does. So what I'm going to do next? 
wind the window down before we take the regulator off. So it's a bit more straightforward. We also get access to these bolts on here so we can take the, the window out. Probably. You can see more how the window works or doesn't work so well here. The wobble you get in the window at the lowest setting is because of the, the strips on here. See the movement in the windows are there. Now we want to leave these four bolts. We're going to take this inner bracket off first. We'll leave these four bolts because the regulator is bolted from the underside. We're going to do these two nuts here and these bolts on the edge there. Just a 10mm socket. Lovely bit of West Africa. There's a bee. Bit of a bee. That's the imagination. That's just the amazing stuff you can get about buying other parts from other Land Rovers. You're inheriting like their heritage. The way before. So I'm done. Yes, I'm done. I'm do. Screws on here and the, and the door handle. Two screws just on the back of the this here that holds the door. Door lock on. Just like that. again to 
pull that out, up and out, that comes off. In the section, these things get really scuffed up. That comes off there. Clip is there. These are little fiddly little things. wound this down too far. Just need to wind it back up a bit because the crank is catching on the other the back side. There we go. That's not free. And this door handle. Just want to twist it around. And there's the window regulator on the back side, goes up and down. So before that was just like that and catching underneath so it wouldn't come out. These things get play. So that's just play and that's why the window wobbles because they, they wear down on the grooves. And these have been used on quite rough ground, bumping around quite a lot. So there's a lot of play in there where they sit at the most for the most most of the time they'll wear out. Focusing on the door lock area now we will we'll take the door handle off and to do that we need to undo this mechanism here, undo this mechanism here and we can get the um, I'll do that after I take the door lock out actually. That's for the end of the door handle. Alright this clip is I think that clips on the other way around compared to the other one, that's a bit trickier. Pop, and just push that up, that comes out. There's the clip. That will unhook when we take the door handle off. These are Torx screws. Hawks 20. I could do with a better set of Torx bits or something, but this is what I've got. This stuff's really sticky. It's disgusting. You get it on your hands. Ta da! Just a small Torx bot. The other side. Put my hand under. Okay, another one done. Now manipulate this off. gummed up. And they have the trim on the edge here as well. We pull the trim off. These are replaceable items. And there as well. Now we're ready to take the whole door lock assembly out. This thing is uh, supposed to be a water guard for any water that runs down. But move it out of the way. I'll rip it off later. Oh no.
See the bed tools that just started around on me. That is so annoying. Torques aren't supposed to round off. Success. Now this door lock should just prise away. It's got a gasket on that side. There's the gasket on there. Now here we can take the inner door handle. That just loops off like that. This side, the green bit slightly we did with the other one. Just pop it off, off there. Pull it out. We'll do the door check strap to 10mm nuts. So a rubber piece in the back. We'll just uh, slide out. That's the buffer. It gets a bit worn on the edge there. Next thing to do is the windows, and this is the bit that gets really fiddly so over here on this rear quarter light window got two little nuts here and some bolts I think that is eight too big try seven yeah seven it is and these hold a clamp that holds the bottom of the window in and there is a bolt on the other end so it may start to spin It's got two washers on it. Just like that, a normal washer, and then a star washer on the end. Like that. have a little bit of felt on the bottom here now but in the diagrams I've seen I think this is supposed to be at the top where uh, this has here is felt it runs all the way around there across and down that's one piece now it makes it a bit tricky to get that bit out if that was this one piece up here you could slide the end off 
and that bit you could get out here. You can't do that. So there's that one bit of felt channel for the bottom. much. Squeeze it away. There we go. Hold off. This thing's got a bit of felt. This is disgusting. It's a bit of felt on the inside edge there. That's how it was before. The other door came off and washed up like this. So actually I think there may be maybe some life left in all these bits. These things are made of aluminium, so you've got to be careful not to bend them too much. There we go. Then we can get on with removing these runners, these felt runners. There's a screw at the bottom. Sometimes they don't come out. I've had to rip one out before. If you undo and put, put some pressure on the felt, and it will put some pressure in the direction you want the felt to go, and then it will ease its way out. These ones you want to lever out a bit if you can. These little buggers. gloves on for the next bit because it's getting a bit dirty. Uh, these should just slide out now. Uh, they just about slide past and then be careful with the glass, you don't want to let it drop too much but it's tough in glass so it's quite hardy. And there we go. Pretty disgusting. And these holes down the bottom um, get enlarged every time so these will always start to wobble at the bottom. Um, giving you a bit of an unsteady window. They can move in and out quite a lot. Giving you a lot of play here.
and squeeze the two sides together. Squeezing these sides a bit, squeezing them in there. They do get a bit mashed up, so these are got to do it for the other felt ones. Now I'm going to replace these runners, so I'm not particularly worried about damaging them. What you can do is push down from the outside, and it'll stay because it's metallic, and then it's released itself. There's a lot of tension in there, so you could. Start sort of levering these to get them a bit free. A bit of freedom. Let's so grab up and crush it slightly. The window will be there we go. So the window's dislodged it. Free, so now you want to be careful because it's just running on metal and metal, essentially. We've got lots of bits of plastic that we can pull out now. <coughs> plastic spaces, same sort of thing. You get underneath them, just leave them up slightly. These come out a lot more. These are heavy little screws through the felt. Just roll it around. He's cleaning up all right. And his corners. There's one on the top here. It goes right along, around this, and along the top there. So this won't move until this is will come out. The next bit, you want to get this section out, and then you can pull this out because this won't. You want to get that over there, but it won't go past the check strap because of this. So what we're going to do is put some downward pressure on this and push it forwards. It's got a kind of a, a lip on there that hooks in up in the door. Push that down. Okay. That gives us space to move away from this side. And then bring this glass all the way down. I'm going to take it out this direction. Cardboard. A bit of cardboard there, just a bit of scratch in the paint on the way up. There we go. Don't damage this bit, it's quite an expensive bit. It's only a bit of pressed metal, but you're looking at 30 quid minimum, something like this. It's quite intricate I'm around the top here. Um, you see this is cranked, bent slightly. So it goes in and latches, so you've got to push it down to get it out. The rest of it should be fairly trivial. We can now, well I guess we choose which way we want to do it, but you can check that out the top, like that, so it comes out in a hole. And this glass, this is going to come out this way, actually it will come out this way now. I had to get it out the bottom before, so there's the glass. 
Look how manky that is. A lot of uh, lot of scratches on that, a lot of um, UV kind of damage. But I polished the other one and it came up all right. And these bits of trim should just leave her out by the other side. Doesn't have it's got two screws in here from the front runner, but it should just pop out like this side. There we go. Hmm, a few spider's webs in there. A bit of West Africa. Let's get the last few clips out of here. Pop. Then we have the entire door dismantled. This thing's a lot lighter now. Maybe the last thing to do is to Take off the hinges. Come on. They're not on particularly tight. Push out. Get rid of Use a Land Rover tool number one. That's the door, totally stripped. Okay, it was not amazing, but in this state, you now you can now send it off to get painted. Um, what I'm going to do is clean it down, clay the whole vehicle, get rid of all the brown staining, and then wax it and go from there. Um, I think later date I'll have these have these painted, but at the moment I just want to get them reconditioned and on the vehicle. It was amazing though. Nine years old. No rust or corrosion. Just a bit grubby. You could if you want to take this door seal off. This is rivets on the bottom berth, and I'll leave that. And this check strap, compared to the diagram, says that it should be able to come off. But these are press fit. It's kind of rivets in here. So once these screws come off, this section doesn't really come off. If it did come off, you'd be able to slide the glass out a lot more easily because this is the thing that stops you from doing it. So in the video I did say the plan was to get them waxed and put them on the vehicle, but I've kind of realised how valuable these things are. Um, I'm not going to put them on the vehicle till I do a full vehicle rebuild, I think, whenever that may be in the future. Because uh, if I just put these on the vehicle, they would just corrode. Um, and they're in quite good condition at the moment. So for the time being, they're in the garage, um, stored, and I've left them in a strip state because if I want to get the car in the garage, I've got to take these things in and out, in and out all the time. So I've left them in a strip state because it's a lot easier to, to manhandle. But I do have front row doors from the Puma as well, and they are still in a full, fully uh, kitted out state. So if you would like a video about me stripping those doors down with slightly better production quality, I would hope, then leave a comment below and I'll see if I can get around to doing something like that. Catch you soon. Bye.